A very brief overview of the beginnings of a war that wasn't so brief, World War I, which saw the collapse of many great European empires and a change of the European balance of power. Tensions between European countries had been rising over the past couple of decades, and this eventually led to the creation of two camps through secret alliances. These two camps were the Triple Alliance of Italy, Germany, and Austria-Hungary, and the Triple Entente of France, the UK, and Russia. Multiple crises, such as the Russo-Japanese War in 1905, the Moroccan crises in 1905 and 1911, arms races between all industrialized powers, and the Balkan Wars of 1912 and 1913 drove Europe to the brink of an absolute war. In 1914, a Serbian nationalist shot and killed Prince Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary. Immediately after, Austria-Hungary demanded that Serbia meet all the terms of a completely one-sided ultimatum. Serbia tried to compromise, but to no avail. With the blessing of Germany, Emperor Franz Joseph I of Austria-Hungary mobilized men for war against Serbia. Wary of the Germans and wanting to support Serbia, Russia under Tsar Nicholas II began to mobilize men and resources. Amidst this rapid collapse of European order, Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany declared war on Russia, opening up the Eastern Front. The declaration of war from Germany to France was joined by German troops invading France and Belgium, opening up the Western Front. The British responded to the invasion of Belgium by joining France on the Western Front. Both the Allied and Central Powers reached secret agreements with other nations, thus creating new military alliances. The Allies consisted of France, Italy, the UK, Russia, Serbia, and their respective colonies, pitted against the Central Powers of Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire. Armed with the latest military technology, and fueled by a strong patriotic love of their country, the soldiers dug in and went to war, falsely believing it would be short. And thus began World War I, which would last four years and take 16 million lives. From the French trenches at Verdun to the Commonwealth charges on the beaches of Gallipoli, from the cliffs of the Alps and the Asonzo River Valley to the northern waters of Jutland, this war would forever change Europe.